Okay, dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the hacks box, which is networks. I've already spawned the machine earlier, and this is the IP address of the target. I will use the pawn box, which is online payload OS, to do this penetration. Before we start today's journey, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. And leave a like below. This will help me very much. You are greatly appreciated. So enough said. Let's just get started. So then we can switch over to the hex boss viewer. As you can see, I've already done the map scanning earlier, and this is the options I take. I took sorry, the sync scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also the comprehensive scan. I also use the T4 to speed up the scanning process. From a map scanning results, as you can see over here, the two open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface, and also the actual version information. As you know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability at all. The second one is 80, which is running HTTP surface and also the actual version information, which is Apache 2. And uh, so what we are going to do next is to do emulation for the web application. So then maybe I can close down all history pages. Let's launch fresh one. And also I'd like, I'd like to clear the recent history to make sure history data will not affect our penetration with this video. So now we can put the IP address of the target into the address bar. Let's hit enter. Yeah, hello, mate. We are building the new face mesh. Yeah, nothing special, and also we can check the source code. You yeah, upload and the gallery not yet linked. So I think the author, yeah, gives us the hint that we can upload something to the server to the target. Although yeah, it's not linked to the home page. Also, we can check the the robot file. Yeah, not found. Next, I need to use Ligato. You know, Ligato is so useful for the web application immersion because it will go through all possible misconfigurations and also common files, even sometimes vulnerabilities. So we just wait for this to be finished to see which kind of information we can get. Yeah, we got a directory, which is backup. Of course, we can manually visit this directory backup. And there is tar file we can download to our own machine and we can move this file to our current working directory which is a network of course we can yeah I think I can quit from here from Nikto and then we can tar XVF Back up. Yeah, I think we can get some source code of this target. For example, like upload and also lib. So now I think we need to make direct emulation, right? Go faster. 
DIR. And then with the list, share with the list, dear buster, directory, and the option HTML extension option txt back. Let's press enter. Yeah, I, as you can see, we have already know that the target has such a files. Also, this directory uploads, backup, lib. So I think, of course, also photos, PHP, maybe we can access one by one. Photos, PHP. Yeah, this some um, yeah. Welcome to our awesome gallery. Some recent uploaded pictures from our community, and feel free to rate or comment. So recent uploaded picture would be yeah will be saved here. So I think now also we can check other one. Yeah, upload of course. Upload. Maybe I can open up another tab. Upload PHP. Of course, we can upload the reverse shell.php file through this page, right? But before we do that, we need to review the source code. I think I can interrupt from the directory emulation because, yeah, we have already got the source code of this page upload. As you can see, yeah, require, and this is the lib.php. Later, we can review this file and upload. Yeah, upload. And uh, we'll check whether is, this is a post. And if a file is not empty, and we will will be saved or assigned to this variable and then we'll check file type and the file size and also files my file the file size upload and also get a name upload so i think this extension and the valid extension must be one of them like gpg png GIF, JPG, JPG. So I think first we need to, yeah, we need to know more about this function. And this function should be referred to this one, to the lib. And we can check on that. Lib. Yeah, check file type. And this is the mile, mimi. M I M E type, and if I M type, and it should be image, so we can check on that. PHP, yeah. So this function. Yeah, before the image is inserted to the database, it checks if the pictures are PNG. And uh, maybe here. Yeah, returns MME content type for file as determined by using information from magic mile. So I think this function, I mean the PHP function, will check the magic number. So I think we can bypass this filter by adding the manipulated header to the file. So we can, of course, when I did the, the this machine the first time, I tried to use the PHP reverse, but uh, this one doesn't work. So I'd like to use 
or create one liner PHP file. We can call it shell PHP. And we can call it, we can, yeah, very simple PHP code. PHP. All right. And make it more beautiful. We can system. Get CMD. All right. Of course, now if we upload this file, we will not um, succeed. As you can see, browse. And uh, we can select this one. Go. Invalid image file. I think the first thing we need to do is. We can add the add the magic or header and to bypass the filter yeah adopted by the PHP function. Yeah this one the meme content content type this this function. So we can GIF and write and quit. But again if we because th from here, yeah, this yeah our, ta our target will check two things. The first one will check the magic number or check the header of the file, and the secondly also will check the extension. As you can see over here, yeah, this one extension. Okay, so I think we can append the extension to this file shell. PNG. I think it doesn't matter. Now if we go back to our browser and select yeah this one open. Yeah, file uploaded, refresh gallery. And I think here, yeah, tell us we need to refresh gallery. I think this should be here, not upload the directory. And uh, we can refresh this gallery. And this is the file what we've just uploaded. And if we click and open image in new tab, as you can see, yeah, this header, of course, we need to pass the parameter CMD ID. Yeah, as you can see, we can successful, successfully run the commands. So next, we need to get a reverse shell. So how to do it? We need to get the help from the pen test monkey. And uh, of course, you can try different ways. But I think the most or simplest way is to use this one, this command. Okay. Of course, before, before we do that, we need to check the Python version. We can run the which Python, yeah, Python 2 is there. And uh, yeah, I think this is the simplest way to get to reverse shell. If you, for example, maybe some guy will say, make encoding and decoding and to get a reverse shell. But this one, I think this is the most or simplest way to do that. We can make a copy. And before we do that, we need to set up the listener first, right? All right, and then we can paste our command, reverse your command here, in here. Let's hit enter. Yeah, as you can see, we got the reverse shell and we can make it or spawn the TTY session. Spawn. All right. And now we need to go to the home directory to do some local emulation. There is just only one normal user, Guli. But uh, right now we don't have permission to read any files. Yeah, sorry, except uh, such files. So I think from here we can know, yeah, the Guli will run cron job. We can cut this cron job. Tab 
the gully. Yeah, we can run. Yeah, every three minutes we run this PHP script, and we can cut this check attack PHP. All right. Okay, here I think this script. Let's take a look at this script. Will require this lib PHP file, and this is the pass. And uh, under the www directory, and this is the lock pass. And to GUI message header, and this is array variable, array type, and this one will. Get the director. I mean, get the file information from this pass. I think this is the directory. We can make a search PHP if you are not、uh, not so familiar with the PHP scan dir. Yeah, this is the inbuilt function that is used to return an array of files and directories of the specified directory. Okay. And、let's go back here, and we'll do the loop. And if value value is index dot html, we'll continue, and we'll nest. And I think this this file is this function we can get from the lib dot php file, and also check check the ip. And here. We'll write content to the file, and here also can execute command. And here, but here, we can note that yeah, the value, this value we got from the, yeah, from here, the from the loop, and this value, we got from the function of scan dir. So maybe we can manipulate this value variable because here this code doesn't validate this value. So we can go navigate to this directory uploads and、uh, create the manipulated file with with specific file name and this file name will. Get us to get us the reverse shell. Okay, so now we can go to the var w html uploads. All right, so we can use the touch command and、uh, single quote. And we need to use the column to separate the 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 the, the, the file name to our reversal command. And、uh, here we can, of course, we can encode our reversal command here. As you can see here, of course, we need to use. We need to use the different pod number. Echo. Base. All right, and then we can make a copy, and we can run echo. Paste, and then can base sixty four decode and tunnel to bash. Let's hit enter, and now we can set up the listener. And of course, we need to wait about three minutes. All right, after we run the command injection. Yeah, command injection to this value. Yeah, 
and uh, here the ID the user is Guli so now we need to elevate our privilege to loot user and then we can run the sudo to see whether this current user can run sudo yeah we can and we can check the permission of this share script yeah however we don't have permission to change this share script and so we can cut this file this file we can make a copy yeah this will cut we we'll input the device on boot and also we can check the do we have a permission to change this file but we don't and also we can cut the content of this file yeah i think this is the some yeah device limb on boot limb so we can make research you know i have already opened up here uh, this yeah this release has we how do we call it as you can see just found on found an issue in red hat center os which according to red hat security team is not an issue i don't know in my case the limb equal attributed in this network scripts is not handled correctly if you have white blank space in the limb the system try to ex execute the part after the white blank space yeah just over here so i think we can manipulate this one the limb right we can run sudo Yeah, interface limb. Yeah, we need to manipulate, for example, ABC, and we need one space and beam bash. All right, and other, we just put any information. It doesn't matter. Now we can check ID. As you can see, we have already become the loot user, and then we can navigate to loot directory to retrieve loot flag. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.